Hi, I'm Chris Granger and I'm here at the Schumacher factory to take you through the new MI5 Evo. So if we look at the car, we've got a narrower chassis just to allow the car to roll a little bit more and not hit the ground so much. We've tweaked around with the top decks so we've got more scope for setup change. We've increased the um, strength of the shock towers with uh, thicker shock towers to reduce flex around the suspension area, front and back. There's been an improvement made to the body posts. The body posts are now a clamping affair as opposed to a grub screw, which allows a smaller adjustment. Um, the grub screw was always worked very well, but it dented the body post, um, and which meant you could only use it in one place. These ones allow small changes constantly. The steering is still the same steering rack that we had on the MI5, but we've fitted forward facing balls so that we've got smaller adjustment to the Ackerman area. We can now shim that ball back half a mil, half a mil forward, just make smaller changes. The servo is still on the floating servo mount, but everything's just been made a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller, a little bit lower. The MI5 Evo features a small change to the top decks also over the MI5. We've made the top deck shorter so it makes the car more stable and easier to drive. We've now mounted it to the bulkheads as opposed to the shock towers just making the car easier to set tweak free. We've also made the top decks a little bit wider apart. This makes the car a little bit more responsive and better on smaller tracks. The MI5 Evo also sees a small change to the motor mount. The motor mount has been brought into the centre line by 4.5mm, bringing the motor in to make the car more agile. The motor mount is still mounted on the centre line with two screws. The shock top has now been changed to a ball joint, as opposed to an open-ended bushing with a nut. Just makes things nicer, easier and neater. Also saving a little bit of weight. The shock top is now a multiple adjustment setting. It's got a grub screw hole or a screw hole so that you can use it for emulsion shocks or bladder shocks. You can have bladder with an air hole, bladder with no air hole or emulsion shocks, all with the same top. The shock bodies have been made slightly smaller. What we've done is remove material from the top threads and the bottom threads. So the volume of the shock remains the same just the overall length is shorter to enable lower shock towers, lower centre of gravity. It still fits standard length shock springs, which is really handy. The wishbone ends on the MI5 Evo have had a small tweak as well. We now have a grub screw underneath to hold the pin in place. This helps reduce play. We have a one mil washer by the side of the hub for extra wheelbase adjustment. And the whole wishbone end is just smaller and lighter. The same improvement has been made to the front wishbone ends. We now have the grub screw on the micro caster block and the wishbone ends are smaller with a smaller pin. Another item improved on the Evo is the wishbone pivot balls and inserts. They're now a teardrop shape with a grub screw fitted to remove play. They're also held in place on the wishbone with an o-ring which means they can be replaced easy without the use of glue. The new bulkheads have got adjustable camber links. We now have three holes on the bulkhead. So we can have a short camber link, a medium camber link, and a long camber link. Just makes it easier to adjust, no extra parts to buy. 